welcome back to the Bible Wheel channel. And here's another uh, uh, set of links that I wanted to show you. Uh, and this is between the Second Kings eight and Amos. Second Kings eight is the eighth chapter of the first cycle of Second Kings. And uh, Amos is the 30th book, and it is the 8th cycle of the second, uh, sorry, 8th spoke of the second cycle of the Bible wheel. And look at what there is in common between the two books. Now, uh, Amos 1 uh, spoke against Damascus. Uh, within within the uh, among the eight cities that or regions that uh, God was going to uh, was going to punish, uh, Damascus was the first one in Amos chapter one, and uh, it does mention the house of uh, Hazael. In other words, Hazael was, if you want to find out who Hazael was, uh, even though it was mentioned from 1 Kings, I believe 1 Kings 19, uh, Hazael, um, we uh, received the introduction um, of who he was in 2 Kings 8. And uh, it says, which will uh, sorry, which will devour the palaces of Ben Hadad. Ben Hadad, I believe, was the son of Hazael and not Hazael's master. And uh, I will break also the bar of Damascus, and so on. Okay. Therefore, uh, looking at. Uh, Second Kings seven to nine. Uh, this is this what it says. Uh, and Elisha came to Damascus, and Ben Hadad, the king of Syria, was sick. Yeah, I mean, in this case, uh, Ben Hadad was Hazael's master, but I think the judgment, the judgment was uh, given to perhaps Hazael's son. Okay. And Ben Hadad, the king of Syria, was sick, and it was told him, saying, The man of God is come hither. And the king said unto Hazael, Take a present in thine hand, and go meet the man of God, and inquire the Lord by him, saying, Shall I recover of this disease? Also Hazael went, so Hazael went to meet him, and took a present with him, even of every good thing of Damascus, forty camels burden, and came and stood before him, and said, Thy son Ben-Hadad, king of Syria, hath sent me to thee, saying, Shall I recover of this disease? If you allow me, I'll give you a bit of a background of what was going on between uh, Israel and uh, Syria. I mean, uh, Syria came in talk, into conflict with Israel with in uh, 1 Kings 16 when uh, when Asa uh, had a conflict with Israel uh, and that was concerning the building of a wall between Israel and Judah and Asa uh, the king of Judah sent to Syria bribed Syria uh, saying, uh, "Why don't you take care of uh, deal with Israel for my for my sake?" And uh, and uh, Syria attacked Israel uh, when Basha was king. And uh, that conflict uh, grew bigger when uh, Ahab was king. He gave a parcel of land. In uh, First Kings twenty, uh, which was the uh, 
the land that is between uh, Israel and Syria at the time, which was Ramoth Gilead, which is the heights of Gilead. And uh, Elijah was the prophet, became a prophet, um, w but he lived uh, in that area. The, he was uh, ti he was uh, from the city of Tishbe, which uh, I believe was a Le Levitical city. And uh, Elijah um, prophesied no rain uh, for three and a half years. And um, and Tishbe happened to be uh, part of uh, Gilead. I'm not sure if it was Ramoth Gilead or Gilead in general. Ramoth means the heights of Gilead. Then there was Jabesh Gilead, which I don't think was part of the land in dispute. Jabesh was the, the plain of Gilead. But... Um, Ramoth Gilead was in dispute, and uh, when, when uh, <clears throat> in First uh, Kings twenty Acts, uh, sorry, um, Ahab said uh, the king of Syria and him were brothers, you know. Uh, but in First Kings twenty two, uh, he decided to have a war with Syria and uh, w he actually gave the land to him and he went to war to get the land back and when he gave the land to him uh, there was a prophet uh, that told him that um, it was his life for uh, instead of uh, Ben Haddad in other words, God was uh, for his life instead of Ben Haddad. Before the dispute, before actually he gave the land to him, uh, God was after Ben Haddad and not Ahab because Ahab uh, had repented at the time. But uh, after the after that war, he uh, Ahab was dead, and uh, another king came up. His son uh, Azariah. Ahaziah uh, fell from uh, from the stairs, and uh, instead of asking God, he he asked of inquired of uh, Belzebub. But uh, God said uh, his his life was be his life is going to be taken, and uh, because of that. Uh, Jehoram, as he died, Jehoram, uh, his brother, took his place. And there was a conflict between uh, Syria and Israel until chapter 8. And, um, and probably even further, I think even uh, chapter 10. But... Um, uh, what was I going to say... They were at, at peace for a short period back in uh, 2 Kings chapter 6. But in chapter 5, uh, they had taken Israel captive and uh, Naaman the Syrian came to be healed. Um, and uh, see, at that time, Ben Haddad. Uh, wasn't uh, that much aware like he wasn't aware of the prophets in Israel so uh, in 2nd Kings 5 he probably became more aware as his one of his servants uh, Naaman who was a leper was healed and uh, in 2nd Kings 6 there was a multitude of uh, soldiers that was sent from Syria to Israel to I attack Israel, and not just Israel, but actually go after Elisha because every time, uh, every time Israel uh, uh, was invaded by Syria, Elisha Elisha warned the king, saying, uh, "There's going to be an invasion from this area," and uh, they knew he knew everything about it. And it's because God 
uh, told them about everything about it. Um, so uh, that's that's why uh, the king sent soldiers surrounding uh, where Elisha lived, and um, but uh, the the angels were uh, round about Elisha, Elisha's house. And uh, they blinded, and they fed them, and they sent them back. Long story short, and uh, Syria was at peace with it with Israel at the time. And then uh, in chapter seven, there was uh, there was another siege, and um, the uh, Syrian soldiers uh, thought they heard something, and they left their, every their belongings behind and uh, at the end Israel uh, became prosperous because of uh, the a lot of there were a lot of things that were left behind and that was the story and then uh, uh, second Kings 8 uh, uh, it, it's mentioned it mentions that uh, the king was sick, the king of Syria, and Hazael, Hazael was about to replace him. I mean, if you were to read from uh, 1 Kings 19, you would know that Hazael was uh, meant to replace uh, Ben-Hadad, the king of Syria. All right, so uh, we'll move on. And uh, some, there was something I added... Uh, within the concordance, if you look at the the, the meaning of Syria, in, uh, the English word Syria is written Aram, and uh, that's where the uh, term Aramaic comes from. And uh, Aramaic is uh, is quite related to Hebrew, and don't forget that Abraham uh, came from came from Syria. It was also mentioned uh, he came from Ur of the Chaldees, but he settled in Haran, therefore Haran was uh, part of, I believe it was part of Syria. And uh, it's a shortened version, that's what the Kirk Concordance says, it's a shortened version of Armon, uh, which means palace or fortress. And uh, this reminds us of something else. Uh, in Amos, uh, it says it shall devour the fa palaces of Ben, -had ben Hadad, and that's that. In Hebrew, Armon, Armon is uh, the word used. Okay, let's move on. It's good to have water next to you. Okay. And now we're comparing uh, more things between Amos 1 and uh, 2 Kings 8. Since Syria in Hebrew is Aram, a shortened version of Armon, which means palace or fortress, setting, setting sending fire on on palaces is what is in common between the texts. At the end, you'll notice. Let me just read it to you first. I like I love the story. Um, Second Kings eight uh, verse seven, and Elijah came to Damascus, and Benhadad the king of Syria was sick, and it was told him, saying, The man of God is come hither, and the king said to Hazael, Oh, let me let me mention it to you uh, that in Second Kings nine. Um, Elisha threw his servant 
anointed uh, in the name of the Lord, anointed uh, Jehu, one of the captains of uh, Israel. And but prior to that, this is chapter eight. He actually went to uh, Damascus and uh, went to see the king. I don't know if he knew in advance that the king was sick or uh, did he happen just to uh, pass by uh, and, uh, and and that's what it is. Uh, and the king said unto Hazael, take a present in thine hand and go meet the man of God and inquire of the Lord by him saying, shall I recover of this disease? And imagine that though, the king... Uh, at this point, Ben Haddad. At this point, uh, seems to have to co have come to uh, um, real the realization that Elisha was the was a prophet of God, and he's asking him, uh, he's asking his servant to go uh, meet him. Remember in Second uh, Kings one where um, Isaiah. Uh, Ahab's son went to um, Ahab's son uh, inquired of Beelzebub and Elijah, Elijah said you're not going to get healed you're going to die and over here is the opposite Is it, this is a Gentile king and uh, in 1st Kings 20 uh God was helping Israel against uh, Ben Hadad, but in First uh, Kings 22, uh, he, God changed sides because uh, Ahaz, uh, Ahab uh, disobeyed him, 